Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. So today we will be animating, so we won't be really animating this, I already animated it, but I'll show you how I animated this very, very cool illustration. It, it was super, super fun. And my colleague Stella was sitting right there. You're gonna see her on the new uh, Instagram reels, by the way. So make sure you go ahead and check them out. Obviously, I can't share the project files for this uh, animation and also the previous one because this is their work. So I don't, I'm not really comfortable sharing that, but I am really hoping I can share some valuable tips on how you can uh, animate a Photoshop illustration because this was created in Photoshop and then I imported it and animated it into uh, in After Effects. So uh, there are a lot of things here that I want to cover uh, and I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you do, make sure you leave us a comment below and subscribe to our channel. <laughs> So basically, this was uh, an illustration that uh, my colleague Stella, who is a great illustrator, so make sure you go ahead and check her Instagram page. The link will be in the description below. But uh, that was an illustration that she created a while ago. And since it's Christmas time now, uh, I wanted to create like a very cool and fun animation. The, the problem though was that this was created in Photoshop and obviously it wasn't created for animation. She just created it for her page and therefore the layers and the way <clears throat> the way uh, she organized this file was a bit different. There was a little bit of a challenge at the start to decide how to animate it in a way that makes him kind of a uh, funny, just makes the whole video funny and interesting to watch, but at the same time, try to stay away from big movements and like making him, I don't know, jump or walk or stuff like that, because that would have been super, super complex with a Photoshop illustration and especially with the layers uh, not being organized that well. So the story behind this character is that he's a cooker and cookery is a famous tradition in Bulgaria where men dress in costumes, scary costumes, and they scare away the evil spirits. And so this guy, he's a cooker. If you wanna Google what cookery is, you can do that. It's very, very cool. Okay, so what do we have here? That was the original, like the original file before I separated the layers and before I organized everything in pre-compositions. Uh, but basically we have the background and then we have the character uh, and actually, yeah. So there is a little bit of a like, in because in this composition we have the character and the the backgrounds like some of the elements from the background now that i imported the the character the first thing that i did was to animate the body i'm going to find my body now and isolate it so i can show you how i did it i always start with the body just so i can have some context and um, i will just like kind of map out the 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 overall movement like what will happen and then I go back and I animate the head, I animate the face, I animate, uh, I animated the stick. Uh, but first I start with the body. So this is the animation of the body. So I just have, a, I basically just have position, position keyframes here. So he bounces a little bit here and then we have the movement uh, of the body uh, with the arm and the stick. So uh, yeah, so this is the first bounce. So I started by animating this upper part of the body and then I animated the other part of the body uh, and I'm going to isolate it so I can show you what I did. Initially, I printed the the like the like this bottom part of the body with the upper part of the body uh, and I had just one animation, but um, I found out that it looks a bit weird and a bit robotic. So that's why I wanted this upper part of the body to, to move a bit more um then the the other part so that we have this very cool bounce uh, effect and a little bit of a cartoony effect uh, to this character once i created this little bounce i then uh, wanted to animate the bounce i wanted these bells to move separately and um because otherwise it would, it would just it looked really really weird so for the bells i duplicated the file a bunch of times i then created masks and then I added these little other shapes to kind of uh, complete the bow. When I had all these bows and the other elements, I animated each 
bell by adding keyframes to the rotation and this is how it looks so this is the animation of the bells once i had my body animation and the animation of the bells i animated the hand and the stick okay so for the arm uh i had a little bit of a challenge again because i wanted to parent the arm to the body uh but it it looked really weird especially here when the the body bounces it it just it looked really weird and that's why i had to duplicate the arm three times uh and i'm gonna show you why i did that so here like for the first part where he bounces like right here uh i parented the arm and the sleeve and the hand to the body however here with the big bounce i duplicated that and i didn't parent it to the body it just moves separately the reason why i did that was because it looked really like weird uh if the body if the if the arm moves with the body it's just it just like created this very weird motion because uh, the the hand is parented to the arm and with the stick animation it just it was following the body, the bounce of the body, and uh, that was creating a weird movement of the stick because it was bouncing too. And I didn't want it to bounce. I just wanted to stomp and stay there. So that's why I have I, I had to duplicate the arm and not not parent it to the body basically. And then here I parented. I just duplicated it again and I parented it to the body so I can have this loop. And also there is this movement of the of the arm at the end uh because i i wanted him to stomp and then uh pause for a bit and then i wanted him to return to his original position so that we have this uh so that we have a loop so but essentially here for the arm uh, i animated the the rotation so this is for the arm only uh, and then uh, this part of the costume is parented to the uh to the arm and uh, the stick let me find my stick okay so the stick is parented to the hand yes and the hand fun fact the hand is not parented to the arm do you notice how this arm moves up here so if i parent the the arm to the to the hand it would look again really weird because of the because of the bounce effect and i wanted to have this cool parallax motion here uh, and so that's why the hand is not parented to the uh, arm nor the body it just moves separately and um the stick is just parented to the hand because that was a separate layer so remember that like this like the hand here is on a separate layer and that gave me the freedom to just move it separately so now for the stick uh, as i mentioned all these elements on the stick uh were like kind of on a i think they were on one layer and it's very similar to the way i created the bells i just masked them uh, and then i animated them separately um following the movement of the arm and the hand uh, and the stick obviously uh, and the body as well so that's why you always start with the body so you know when to animate what after that i had this animation i animated these elements here uh and then i also had the uh, the animation of the body and the bells and uh i went back to the original file with the background and everything and i added these elements here so for these elements i uh, just uh, used like um something that i created for another video and so i just used it uh, it's basically just a smoke animation it was created frame by frame and then uh also something interesting here is that i added one additional element so it looks like the stick is kind of like stomping behind this little um thing here on the ground uh and i think it just looks more natural that way the next thing that i did was to animate the face of this character and uh, as i mentioned at the start i wanted to make him look a bit silly and uh 
the way I did that was to create this blinking animation. So for the blink, I just did something very, 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 very easy. So I created two circles. I duplicated the, the eyes and then I created one shape. So this is this shape. This is a mask shape shape and I animated the, the mask path and then I duplicated it again and created this eyelid. And then I duplicated the two eyelids and uh, move them here. That's the blinking animation. Yeah, it's pretty simple. And then I also uh, separated and masked the pupils and they move a little bit too. One quick tip for me, when you're animating pupils, just make sure like if you want to make it cartoony and fun, first of all, make them move fast. And second of all, don't make big movements. If you see here, this is the movement. You can add position keyframes within like a couple within a, a second to make it look even better. Uh, but just don't make huge movements uh, because it looks really, really weird. So for the mouth, I had to like I just created this mouth. It's super simple, just a line basically with an outline. And then I uh, uh, just use the original mouth, this one. Uh, and then I duplicated the first mouth again because of the loop. And what I did was to create to add two more keyframes for the pad because so look what I did if I extend this layer a little bit. So this is the original shape of the mouth, right? So this is this is how the animation starts. Then I just created another shape that is very similar to the other mouth and I made it start a few frames before the switch. So that way we have a very smooth transition. Like, let me play just this part for you so you can see. Because as you can see, this mouth is just tiny and this one is bigger. And uh, if it was a simple cut, it looked really weird again. Like it's just uh, too fast and weird. And so that's why I just uh, animated the path of this mouth. And this is how it looks now. Yeah, I think it looks way better. Okay, and now I just want to isolate the face layers so uh, you can see the movements that I added. So this is the face. Okay, so he blinks a little bit. He smiles here. He looks left, down, smiles, big smile, looks weird and normal again. When you animate something like that, just make sure you have a very clear idea from the start. And then uh, I would suggest you animate the face a bit more, um, like depending on what you want to want, to, what you want to show in the video. But uh, I think, uh, yeah, the animation of the face is like a big part of um, showing the feeling that you want to show uh, and having a very smooth and cool animation. At this point, I had everything ready. My character was ready and I just went back to the uh, original file and I wanted to add snow. So for the snow, I um, created a solid layer and then I added the CC particle world. I made the particles faded spheres and I changed the, the bird color and the death color to white. And then uh, I played with like the settings, um, like these, these settings here, I changed the position. Uh, the X and Y and, uh, and the, the Z position as well. Uh, I changed the velocity a bit also and the gravity. That was very important because it was just falling. It was super fast. So I had to um, decrease the gravity here as well. Uh, I created two layers for the snow. This is the first one and there is snow in the background uh, because I wanted to have one layer that's in front of the character and one that's behind the character. So we have this uh, cool ambient. Um, kind of atmosphere. So at this point I had almost everything ready. And the final thing that I did was to add a uh, texture. So this is a texture that I downloaded from Freepik. I uh, then uh, changed the mode to soft light and I added hold keyframes for scale and rotation, like random keyframes basically. Uh, and also the opacity here is 20%. This is how it looks. Okay, so this is the fully animated character. 
Uh, I really hope you enjoy it. And by the way, if you're into character animation, I have a course. The link will be in the description below. So make sure you go ahead and check uh, this, this course. There will be more courses available very soon on Udemy. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If so, uh, like this video, comment below, and make sure you also check our reels on Instagram if you want to see the behind the scenes of like creating this this character was really, really fun. Thank you so much for your time and have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye.